Do you know what jam sandwiches do to blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Today I'm having jam sandwiches made with Kisan mixed fruit jam and four slices of white bread. In total, this should be around 375 to 400 calories. Now if there's one food item that can break the record of pancakes, it's this. Let's see what happens. No wonder kids love this. It's a full-on dessert and it tastes amazing. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 64 mg increase. Look at that. These harmless looking jam sandwiches cause the second highest spike not only in this series but across all the food items I've done till now. Only when I had pancakes with maple syrup did my blood sugar levels rise more than this. 74 mg. Even though the spike was second highest, it probably caused the highest headache due to eventual low blood sugar levels, the blue dots. This result does make sense because jam sandwiches have only two ingredients, white bread and jam, which is sugar, both of which have a glycemic index of 100. And I'll show you something interesting. When I had khira sandwiches or cucumber sandwiches with the same four slices of white bread, my blood sugar levels had increased by 59 mg, only slightly lesser than this. This shows that adding a little bit of fiber is not good enough in controlling the blood sugar spike caused by white bread. Clearly a lot more fiber is needed because if you remember when I had Bombay sandwiches, my blood sugar levels had increased by 32 mg, half of this. And that's because Bombay sandwiches are filled with vegetables, much more compared to a normal sandwich. In my next video, I am trying egg sandwiches. And let's see if the proteins and fats from the egg are able to reduce the glucose spike caused by white bread as successfully as vegetables did.